Social media accounts are frequent targets of hackers and often contain lots of useful information. Today, we'll check out a tool that can create a phishing page for nearly any social media website on this episode of Cyber Weapons Lab. Social Fish is a tool that's been around for a while and gone through a number of different iterations. In a previous version, it was a simple command line tool, but now it has a full-on web interface that allows us to do a lot of different things. Now, what it's generally designed to do is take a web URL to spoof, let's say twitter.com slash login, and then have a web URL we want to go to when we've finished capturing the passwords, like maybe just twitter.com. Once we have those two things, we can spin up Social Fish log in, and then supply those two URLs and generate an attack link that anybody on our local network could go to and basically encounter a legitimate looking version of the Twitter login page. Now this works for virtually any website, so it's really easy to see that phishing is an incredibly effective attack vector. If you have any questions on how to set this up, you can check out the Nullbyte article linked in the description, but typically you'll want to have Python installed, and then also I would recommend running this on a Linux VM or a Linux machine, because I ran this on macOS and it didn't work so well. Once you have Python set up and ready to go, then we can begin. Hey Bytes, in 2019, YouTube started enforcing a ban on instructional hacking, and as a result, we started getting warnings and even a strike on some of our content. Now, in order to make sure we didn't get taken off YouTube entirely, we had to move some of the more problematic videos over to the Nullbyte website. Now, I understand this is a little bit annoying, but you can still access the content by checking out the link below and in the description. Thanks for understanding. So as you can see, this is a really easy way to generate pretty much a, any kind of phishing page you want, provided you put in the link to clone and then the redirection link here. Once you do that, you can uh, basically keep track of the captured credentials with a either view for each attack, or you can generate a report in order to see more information, which again is a pretty nifty thing that they have. So if you've been doing this for a while and you want to go back and see a particular date range, something like that, then this is all stuff that you can do in order to learn more about the particular target. Now, I'm not going to do this because this is still a little experimental and I don't want to stress it, but again, this is a really cool update to a project that's been around for a while because you might have heard of Social Fish before, but you probably didn't see that it now has a slick web interface and allows you to keep track of multiple attack links. Social Fish is an extremely evolved phishing tool and even has a companion mobile application that allows you to control it remotely. Now it goes without saying that even though this tool is really easy to fish people with, it's not permissible to do so if you don't have permission to access someone's account. So even though this tool is really easy to deploy, we haven't gone all the way of showing you how to do so on a remote network. That being said, if you do have permission for a pen test or if you just wanna test out something maybe in your own family or somewhere where you do have permission, it's one of the best tools out there I've found for generating phishing pages that look and feel convincing. That's all we have for this episode of Cyber Weapons Lab. If you have any questions about the article, you can check out the link in the description. And if you have any ideas for future episodes, send me a message on Twitter, because I'd love to hear from you. We'll see you next time.